Hello, good tree. This is Paul here to answer some questions you might have regarding creation according to the Bible. We are going through the new answers book number one, 25 questions and 25 answers. Today, we're going to cover chapter 24 and ask the question, did dinosaurs turn into birds? Many evolutionists today say that dinosaurs are still with us as birds. They claim that birds are descendants of dinosaurs. However, the Bible tells us that birds actually came before dinosaurs. God made the birds and winged creatures on day 5 and made the dinosaurs and land animals on day 6. Still, evolutionists have been searching for a long time to prove that birds evolved from reptiles. There are a couple of problems with the theory that dinosaurs evolved into birds. For starters, birds are warm-blooded creatures, but dinosaurs are reptiles and are thus cold-blooded. Evolutionists have sought to find proof that dinosaurs were warm-blooded to strengthen their dinosaurs to birds theory, but have been unable to find any. Dinosaurs are also divided into lizard-hipped and bird-hipped dinosaurs. One would hope that the bipedal dinosaurs that walk on two legs, having hips like birds, would be good support for the evolutionists. But the problem is that the bipedal dinosaurs are lizard-hipped, not bird-hipped. The bird-hipped dinosaurs walked around on all fours. Dinosaurs and birds also share three-fingered hands. However, the science doesn't support a relationship between these hands. Both birds and dinosaurs start with five fingers and lose two during their development. However, Whereas dinosaurs keep fingers 1, 2, and 3, birds keep fingers 2, 3, and 4. They don't actually share the same fingered hands. Dinosaurs and birds also have very different lungs. Birds have special lungs that are designed to help them fly, but there have been no evidence of a dinosaur with an avian lung at all. On the quest to find a relationship between birds and dinosaurs, feathers hold a special place. Feathers have long been considered unique to birds, and so evolutionists have thought that finding a dinosaur with feathers would be a big piece of evidence to support their theory. However, there have been no dinosaurs discovered to have feathers. No matter how close scientists thought they got to finding one, the fossils proved to actually be birds, not have feathers, or be fake entirely. Evolutionists are still searching for a feathered dinosaur to support their theory, but even if they find one, it wouldn't prove that dinosaurs turned into birds. It would only prove that there are all kinds of wacky creatures. Think of the platypus. It's a mammal, yet it lays eggs. There are certainly wacky exceptions to our human method of classifying animals. To prove that birds evolved from dinosaurs, one would need to prove that reptilian scales evolved into bird feathers. However, there is no proof at all to support this theory. Scales and feathers are incredibly different, and without any transitional form to support such a theory, it remains unbelievable even to the evolutionists. Evolutionists will continue to search for evidence that dinosaurs evolved into birds. However, they will continue to turn up nothing. The truth is that dinosaurs did not evolve into birds, but birds existed before dinosaurs as they were created one day earlier by God during the creation week. After that week, dinosaurs and birds existed together for many years before dinosaurs eventually went extinct. And we know all this to be true because it has been recorded for us by God in His very word, the Bible.